The moment I found out that I had received the scholarship, I was sitting in class. One of our instructors was lecturing about college student costs and how much uh, rising debt is becoming an issue for current college students. So I found it very ironic that we were talking about student debt and scholarship opportunities for students when I heard about, when I opened my email during the break and I found out I was awarded a scholarship. I was extremely grateful. Uh, I wanted to jump up and down, uh, but I, I feel like there was a sense of accomplishment in that I was so surprised to receive this award. I thought that this was an opportunity that was given to me and I knew that this opportunity was something that I was going to take advantage of and ultimately help Maria carry her legacy forward. My name is Jose Morales Diaz. My year in school is, I'm a first year master's student in the um, Education, Leadership and Policy program with an emphasis in student affairs. My current leadership role is I work in the Graduate School Diversity Office as a graduate assistant um, to the Assistant Dean for Diversity. My main roles include uh, hosting events. One of the new initiatives that the Assistant Dean for Diversity and myself are trying to implement is to create a Graduate Diversity Council. This council would serve as an opportunity to highlight existing resources on campus as well as provide students with a space for them to interact amongst each other. Uh, most importantly, we want to emphasize the importance of building a sense of community, a sense of belonging on campus. One of my favorite moments as a student leader and how that has impacted my ability to persist and build a sense of community is when I was an undergraduate here at the University of Utah, I worked directly with the Transfer Diversity Scholars Program within the Center for Ethnic Student Affairs. Part of my peer mentoring role was to support first generation transfer students of color in their transition from their respective institutions to the University of Utah. I was able to work with uh, Mr. Paul Fisk, the Transfer Program Coordinator in the Center for Ethnic Student Affairs. He took me under his wing and we were able to work together on a number of initiatives. I believe the scholarship will help me achieve my goals during my time here at the U by providing me with the financial resources needed to pay my way through my program. As of right now, um, my graduate assistantship is set to end on May 16th, 2018, with no possibility of refunding due to some restructuring in the department. Given the fact that I won't have an assistantship, potentially, plus I am a DACA recipient, unfortunately, there are some financial constraints that I am anticipating in the near future. Part of being a DACA recipient is the fact that I'm ineligible for financial aid or FAFSA, so unfortunately I've, I have had to rely on other venues of funding. As a first generation college student, going to college for me was one of the biggest accomplishments I have ever had in my life. I felt like one of the biggest challenges was paying my way through college through financial aid. Unfortunately, because of my DACA status, I was unable to obtain financial aid through FAFSA or any other means. The only scholarships I was able to rely on were private scholarships. Due to the fact that neither of my parents were able to attend college, neither of them knew what the process of going to college looked like. As a result, they were unable to guide me in terms of obtaining financial aid to pay for college. Thanks to my ability to persist, my self-advocacy, my connections that I made both at Salt Lake Community College and the University of Utah, I was able to obtain the necessary funding to ultimately make it to graduation. After I graduate with my and Master's of Education in Education, Leadership and Policy, I hope to carry on Maria Isabella Reyes' tradition by supporting first-generation college students across campus. I want to be able to become a helping hand in the success of others through volunteer opportunities, uh, by becoming a student affairs professional or working within higher education. I hope to change the lives of other students by giving them the self-efficacy and self-advocacy they need in order to become successful. 
successful, or even potentially by helping set up a proposal for a first generation college center here on campus where students will have the ability to build a sense of belonging and ultimately make it to graduation. For the donors who have contributed to the scholarship fund, I would like to express my deepest and most sincere gratitude for your scholarship. Because of the scholarship, I'm able to continue on with my own personal studies. Despite being a first-generation college student with a DACA status, I feel like with this scholarship, I am absolutely able to continue on with my third semester at the University of Utah in my master's program. I feel like th these opportunities are the sort of opportunities that allow students to feel motivated, such as myself, and be able to to give back to my community by one day helping sponsor other scholarships for deserving students.